Hi, Full Hamilton families. This is Miss Smith. I'm excited to share with you a phonics lesson for this week that's really important as we think about becoming better readers and writers. This is a skill you can apply directly to the things that you're writing at home right now. This week, we're going to be working on writing compound sentences. We're talking about the structure of sentences and making sentences more complex. So our objective is I can write compound sentences. Throughout the lesson today, be thinking about our essential question, which is why should we write compound sentences? Why might these sentences be important to something that we could do in the future or to our schoolwork? Why might they might why might they make our writing more interesting? Keep that in the back of your mind as we move along. Before we can talk about compound sentences, we need to review what we learned last week about conjunctions. So what are conjunctions? This would be a great time for you to pause the video and I want you to see if you can challenge yourself to write down the three conjunctions that we talked about last week in our video. So go ahead and pause and write those three down and I'll check back in with you in just a moment. Were you able to remember the three conjunctions we learned about last week? Make sure to send a picture to your teacher if you remember those three. The three conjunctions we talked about last week were but, and, and or. But, and, and or are three words, the three conjunctions we learned about last week when we talked about how to join things together. This week we're going to focus more on actually joining the sentences together and you're going to get some more practice to join sentences together. And although we just talked about three conjunctions, there are actually quite a few conjunctions that you can use to make your writing more interesting. These are called fanboys and these are conjunctions that you can use to join words or phrases or ideas together. And the fanboys just stands for the first letter of each of the words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so. Because different sentences will need a different conjunction depending on what you want the sentence to mean. And you'll see that as we go through our examples and our practice today. So back to compound sentences. A compound sentence is just two simple sentences just regular sentences that are joined together by a comma and a conjunction. It's really important that you remember that to have a compound sentence, you must have a comma followed by a conjunction. The example on this page says, Jane rode on her jet ski, comma, and she splashed in the waves. I know this is a compound sentence because it's got two Simple sentences, two full ideas. Jane wrote on her jet ski. She splashed in the waves. It's got a comma and a conjunction. So they've joined those two ideas together to create the sentence, Jane wrote on her jet ski and she splashed in the waves, which makes a much more interesting sentence and it makes it easier for the reader to understand what's happening. Now we're going to get a chance to try our hand at creating compound sentences. So this is where I'm gonna need your help. Make sure you have a pencil and something to write on nearby. I've given you two sentences and I want you to think of how you can join these sentences together to create a compound sentence. Remember, you have to keep the same ideas that I've given you and join them using a comma and one of those conjunctions. So our sentences are, Natalie played in her first soccer game. She scored a goal. Pause the video and see if you can write down a compound sentence that would join these together. I'll check in with you in just a moment. Were you able to join them together? Again, make sure to take a picture and share with your teacher or your um, classmates 
how you join these sentences together, I'll show you what I did. I said, Natalie played in her first soccer game, comma, and she scored a goal. I used both of the ideas. I kept the words in the same order. I just added the comma and the conjunction and because those ideas can go together easily and they make sense. Let's see if we can try a spicy one, an even trickier one. This sentence says, Miss England's class went to PE. Miss Smith's class went to art. Get out your paper and pencil and see if you can combine these sentences. Remember, I said it's going to get a little tricky. You might need to go back and look at some of those fanboys, the other conjunctions, to see which one would make sense. So go ahead and pause, and I can't wait to hear your responses. Were you able to join these two sentences together? Let me show you how I join them together. I wrote, Miss England's class went to PE, comma, but Miss Smith's class went to art. These ideas are different, so I could use the conjunction but, and it still combined the sentences, but the word but shows that there's a difference between what happened in each sentence. And I've got one more for us to do together. Get out your notebook and write these two sentences down. We got lost on our trip. My mom stopped to ask for directions. Pause the video and see if you can combine these two sentences using a conjunction. Let me show you how I combine these two sentences using a conjunction to create a compound sentence. We got lost on our trip comma, so my mom stopped to ask for directions. Using so shows that there was a cause of something and an effect. We got lost on our trip, so my mom stopped to ask for directions. I know this may seem tricky, but with a little practice, I think you'll get the hang of it. Your exit ticket to show to either a grown up at your house or to take a picture of and share with your teacher is, my family likes to hike. We also like to play board games. Combine those two sentences using a comma and a conjunction to create a compound sentence. Make sure to share that with someone. And finally, if you want to extend your learning, you can complete the exit ticket listed in this video on the last page. And you can also visit IXL.com where you have an account to practice making compound sentences. And I'll show you exactly how to get to that page. It's listed under sentence variety and combining sentences and subjects. And I'll show you how I log on. So once I logged on to the page, I chose the language arts section. I chose second grade. And then I scrolled way down under writing strategies, and in DD number one, I selected it. And this is gonna give you several ways to practice combining sentences. So we'll do the first one together and then you can try the rest on your own. It'll even read the sentences for you if you need some help. These sentences say, water helps plants grow. The sun helps plants grow. Hmm. Well, I know a sentence has to start with a capital letter, so I'm gonna look for which of these boxes has a capital letter first. That's water. I'm gonna water helps plants grow. And sun helps plants grow. So I think I combine these to say that water and the sun help plants grow. And I end with a punctuation mark. Let's check it. Terrific. They've got quite a few practice problems for you to try on your own. So go ahead and give that a shot. I can't wait to see how you do on your practice.